Hey friends and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Hannah and this is Jar Fireflies. Here I make videos all about my life as an Orthodox Jewish homeschooling mother of four. And today I'll be taking you through a week in our life. That's right folks, today we are doing a week in the life. I love this format, filming week in the lives. It's just, I don't know, it's really fun to take you guys along for multiple days in a row. So that is what we are doing here today. Now, before we get too far into today's video, I wanna give a big thank you to today's sponsor, London Sunshine. London Sunshine creates a variety of sustainable kitchen products, such as this lovely dehydrator. I have been looking for a new dehydrator for quite a while now, so I was incredibly excited to partner with Lennon Sunshine to share with you this lovely dehydrator. Dehydrating food is a great way to preserve food while saving the protein and calories, as well as retaining the sugar content, fiber content, and vitamin content. The Lennon Sunshine dehydrator is full stainless steel and BPA free. The stainless steel is made to last. I love the digital control panel. It makes it so easy to set up my foods and control the temperature and time so that I dehydrate my foods perfectly. I can set the timer for up to 24 hours in 30 minute increments. While temperatures can be set from 95 degrees Fahrenheit to 167 degrees Fahrenheit in nine degree increments. And it has an automatic power off when dehydrating time is finished and thermostat controlled overheating protection. Horizontal airflow offers more consistent drying for a greater range of recipes, an automatic rear fan that circulates warm air, and an inner steel layer that adds temperature distribution to allow food to be dried more evenly. And of course, I love the transparent window, which allows for a precise monitoring of my food during the dehydrating process. It comes complete and ready to use with stainless steel trays, fine mesh sheets, a drip tray, and even silicone mitts to safely and easily remove the trays after the dehydration process is complete. I can now easily dehydrate foods like bananas, apples, or strawberries for snacking, and vegetables and meats for our backpacking and camping meals. I'm even making beef jerky, which Mr. Firefly is so happy about. Okay, before we jump back into my week, I'm gonna show you one of my all-time favorite backpacking meals and how I make it using my London Sunshine Dehydrator. All right, so we're gonna be making a little Tex-Mex burrito bowl type thing. So I'm starting out with some peppers, onions, and cherry tomatoes. And I'm just gonna slice all of these up and put them on some trays here into my London Sunshine Dehydrator. It's so simple. After I chop up my vegetables, I just spread them out evenly on the trays and slide the trays right into the dehydrator. And then once I've got everything ready, I will set up my time and my temperature. So I am using two red bell peppers, about a half a container of cherry tomatoes and one and a half onions. Okay, now I'm going to be preparing my ground beef for this recipe. So to prepare that, I just go ahead and brown it completely normally the way I would normally prepare ground beef. But then I'm going to put it here in a strainer and I'm going to rinse it off extremely well. You wanna get out as much of the fat and grease as you can in your ground beef and rinsing it is a fantastic way to do that. And now I'll just spread out the ground beef over a couple of trays so that it's nice and even and add that into the dehydrator as well. Okay, so now that all of my ingredients are done being dehydrated, let's start putting all of this together. All right, so I use these Mylar bags. They're available on Amazon. My first ingredient is half a cup of instant rice then a quarter cup of my ground beef that I've dehydrated, and then about a quarter cup of vegetables. So I've got my red peppers, my onions, and my cherry tomatoes, which I have dehydrated in my dehydrator. Lastly, I'm gonna add in one teaspoon of taco seasoning mix. And that is it. I'm just gonna give this a little shake to kind of mix things up. 
right, so after I gave it a little shake, I just kind of squeezed the air out with my hands and sealed the top here. It's got like a Ziploc kind of top. And this works fine if I was gonna be eating this, say this weekend or something like that. Now, if I was planning a trip a little bit further out, then I would also add an oxygen absorber in here and then heat seal the top. But there you go, that is a super simple meal. And with everything that I dehydrated there, I've got enough to make a separate backpacking meal for every member of my family, which is fantastic. All right, now of course I am going to leave you all of the information down in the description box below, as well as in my pinned comments, so you can get your own London Sunshine Dehydrator and use my code JAR of Fireflies for 10% off your order. And now back to our week. Okay, so, wow. Today is Sunday, so yesterday was Shabbat, and it was a busy, busy Shabbat. It was so much fun, but it was busy. So we started off Friday night by having just our family for dinner and enjoying a game night afterwards, and then Saturday came, and it was just very, very busy. So we went to services, the kids were all playing, I was hanging out with my friends. It was like super duper crowded, like way too crowded for me. So I ended up like sneaking away and finding a quiet corner. <laughs> after services when everybody was socializing. And then we all came home for lunch. We had friends over for lunch. Uh, some of those friends ended up staying for the afternoon and some of my kids ended up going over to their house to play. So we kind of split up the kids a little bit. And, and then more kids were coming over and then towards the end of the day, like everybody came over and more people came over and it was just, it was so much fun. And then I stayed up last night cleaning and organizing and preparing for the week. So. Now we are into Sunday, and let me tell you what, we get to skip school this week. This is really, really exciting. Okay, I was kind of feeling like I needed a break from school, or at least a slower week or something like that, and I was looking at the schedule last night when I was setting things up, and I realized something was off on my dates, so I went and I double-checked all my dates. I had a few extra weeks of school in there that we don't need. Like, it's one thing to have extra weeks of school that we actually need to get through stuff that I want to get through. It's another thing to have extra weeks that we just don't need. So I realized I had just written my calendar wrong, counted something wrong. I don't know. It's what happens when I work too late at night, I suppose. But I found that we had this extra time. So I'm going to take some this week since I need it. And we've been hanging on to school pretty hardcore here for a while now and not had a break. So I think we all probably deserve one. Now saying that we're gonna take a break doesn't mean we're not gonna do any school. We're still gonna be doing some school this week and we're gonna have some adventures and do a lot of reading out loud and just, I don't know, just kind of catch up on being a family, I guess. So, okay, so those are the quick updates. Now I have got still a messy kitchen despite having done a lot of work last night to clean up after Shabbat. There's still a dishwasher to be unloaded, probably two more loads to wash in the dishwasher and plenty of stuff to put away. Plus it's laundry day. And I wanna to go to the grocery store today cause like we're out of milk. So it's like, we kind of have to. I'm gonna to need to go to Costco later this week, but like, I don't wanna to go to Costco on a Sunday cause that just sounds like a nightmare to me. <laughs> so we're gonna go uh, maybe tomorrow or something like that. But I want to at least go to the grocery store today because we are out of milk. And that's just something that I feel like we need here in the house, especially because I need it in my coffee, which is amazing. Okay, so that's what's happening here. I'm gonna get started kind of doing some cleanup stuff and, and then we'll just see what happens with our day.
All right, so I've gotten a lot done here in the kitchen. We've gotten a lot of laundry done. The kids have worked on a little bit of school and we've made some more messes because we made lunch. <laughs> but we are gonna go ahead and take a well-deserved break, head out of the house and go for a walk because it is an absolutely stunningly beautiful day outside and we would like to take advantage. So we have packed up some snacks, grabbed some scooters and ripsticks. I'm about to throw a baby firefly in the stroller. Not really throw. Place him gently in the stroller. <laughs> and we're gonna head out and enjoy a walk. Okay, wow, that was a gorgeous day. Okay, <laughs> we just did a quick little like 30 minute walk. I got in a mile, which is great because I also did a mile earlier today. So if I can get back out for one more walk later and do one more mile, that would be amazing. Okay, so what's happening now? Everybody's hanging out. Mr. Firefly is picking up dinner. So we're gonna have an early dinner. Uh, he's picking up some sushi, so that's super fun. And I just, I still have more laundry. <laughs> more laundry and more dishes. So, so the kids and I are just gonna get to work on this stuff while we wait for Mr. Firefly to come home. All right, so Mr. Firefly came home with some sushi. We had a lovely dinner together. He's back out at services now, but he will be home soon. And the kids and I are just kind of cleaning up and straightening up the house so that we can get ready for bed. So pretty simple day, just a lot of catching up on things and a little schoolwork here and there. So I feel like today was big success. I definitely didn't get done all that I wanted to today, but do I ever? So we'll, we'll, we'll go back to it tomorrow. <laughs> so that's where we will close off today, but don't go anywhere because I will be back in just a few moments when it is tomorrow. Hello and welcome back to a new day. Today is Monday and we are going to be taking it really, really easy today. Today I'm calling it like an exhale week, you know, where it's just like, breathe it out and just kind of relax and enjoy. Okay, cause yeah, like I said yesterday, we've had like a lot of this busyness going on and it's time to just kind of relax and we really all need it. So the kids will be popping in here and there with a little bit of school. I've got a little bit of laundry to catch up on with still. And our big thing today is that we are going to Costco. <laughs> I know we are so exciting, <laughs> but Costco is super duper fun. I have this ongoing list over here on the fridge. It's in three different colors of marker now because I swap out my marker every few days so that I kind of know what's the oldest stuff on my little whiteboard note board over here. And it's now up to three colors. So it's definitely time for us to go. <laughs> uh, we just need like some basic stuff, you know, milk, diapers, salsa, necessities. So uh, yeah, so we're gonna go out and do that after baby Firefly wakes up and he just fell asleep. So that is good. That'll give me a little time to keep getting the house in order. And I've got one more kid who still needs to wake up. So no worries there. What time is it? It is almost 9.30, so that is what is happening there. Ooh, and I have something exciting to show you. Ah, I was busy last night. Come, come, let's go see. Do you guys notice anything different behind me? Like the lack of a couch? I am so obsessed with this room right now. Any doubts that I had, they're gone. They're gone. Oh, I just heard the other kid waking up. So, maybe Firefly's still asleep though. So anyways, when he wakes up from his nap, we'll go. But in the meantime, yes, this room, I'm so happy. It's so great. So what did I do? We moved the couch out last night. Y'all, the unbelievable amount of stuff that was under that couch, game pieces, dice, Legos, um, socks. Um, <laughs> blocks, uh, little toys, dinosaurs, like uh, money, you name it, it was like behind the couch. So anyways, we got all that cleaned out last night 
and I moved the puzzle table that was, the puzzle table had been over here by the window, but it was like blocking. Like this is really kind of a walkway because it's where you come in from the garage and like the garage door, when we would open it was constantly like hitting the end of the puzzle table. So now that is gone. And I moved it over here to this corner. And then I rehung this picture, which had been on this wall behind the couch. Now it's over here above the puzzle table because I just really like that picture still. So anyways, that over there is all done. Now in a dream world, the puzzle table would actually move out and go into my husband's study. That isn't gonna happen yet because we still need to like totally declutter and organize his study. So at some point that might happen. And if that happens, that corner back there will become a seating area in my dream world. Again, because we're not investing money in this room at this point and buying chairs mm -hmm. costs money. And the other thing that I would like to do is this wall right here by the windows. Hold on, let me do this way. Okay, that is a better view. Okay, so this wall over here back here by the windows I wouldn't mind having a couple of chairs there, something smaller but still comfortable and maybe like a very small little table in between. Uh, again, just like as like another seating area in here because to me like homeschooling needs to have that homey, cozy aspect to it and that currently isn't totally in this room. So I would like to add more of that in this room by putting some comfy seating in here. So, but ideally this back corner over here this space back here would definitely be like the ideal for me for putting a cozy seating area though. But anyways, it's looking good. Oh, and then I did move this table right here. Um, the rug was going this way and the table was going this way and I moved it so it's going this way. Just because with the couch gone, it kind of changed the shape of the room. That's really, really dark. Okay, there's a light on my ceiling. Um, <laughs> Just because uh, the way everything with the puzzle table and the couch and everything, it made more sense to have it facing that way. But now that the room is so much more open, we can set the table like that. And I think that is much better. So that's what's happening here. And I've actually been enjoying like coming out here and sitting at this table to get some work done. It is my old work table. I said I probably won't be getting a new table for my study, at least not yet. I don't know. I just I'm gonna put the pause on any thoughts of it right now because we may, I don't know, if, if I'm gonna get a new table, it makes more sense to get like a bigger table maybe out here, I don't know, I don't know. We need to just live in this space for a little while and see how it goes. And and yeah, I, I the chairs are definitely the priority because it's not like I don't have tables in this house. We've got tables in the house. Comfy seating is something that is lacking. So that is where we're at with that. Anyways, enough of that chit chat. Um, I'll pick you guys back up when baby Firefly wakes up and we go to Costco. Cause all I'm gonna do right now is dishes and laundry and helping kids get ready. So that's what's happening here. And we'll see you guys in a few. Okay, so we've made it out here to Costco. We are just piling out of the car. We're gonna head in and get what we need. Okay, so we are done with Costco. We are ready to head home. The kids are just buckling up real quick. And uh, yeah, Costco was great. We got all but one thing that was on our list. I couldn't find one thing, but that's okay. And then we got some ice cream there at the end because that's a fun treat that uh, we get to enjoy when we go to Costco. <laughs> all right, let's get home. All right, so we are home from Costco now. And yeah, stocked up. It's like our monthly Costco trip where I get like snacks for the kids and all kinds of different stuff. So. 
Um, what do we get? Fun stuff. So I got some new towels for the kitchen because our kitchen towels have like holes in them now and things like that. Like they're really, really old. And yeah, restocked on a bunch of stuff like tilapia for Mr. Firefly's Moroccan fish. Some more of our favorite snacks. That vegetable blend you guys know that I love. Oh my goodness. Okay, so this one has the hexure. This is the symbol that tells me that it's kosher. So we pulled it off and I realized it didn't have the hexure and I was kind of freaking out. I was like, no, it's my favorite vegetable mix. And then we realized that another box did have a hexure. So I don't know if it's maybe there's like different places that make them and only one is certified, but I went ahead and grabbed a bunch of these because just in case, I just wanna make sure I have them in my freezer because I really love these vegetables and if they don't have a hexure anymore, I want them for as long as I can. Yeah, our Costco has the kosher cheese. We have plans for a lot of pizza coming up because we've got some pizza dough mix in the pantry that's going to expire soon, so we need to eat that up. Oh, and this is uh, this is something else fun that I got, little uh, nori snacks. I don't know, it's just like seaweed and salt. It should be really fun. I'm excited. I mean, I'll eat it. <laughs> And then they have these cute winter shirts from Eddie Bauer. So I got some for my daughter, some for little dude, and some for my oldest. So now they all have some new winter shirts. And then I got some boring stuff like Ziploc bags and milk. All right, the other fun thing that I got, ugh, this is actually a lot heavier than I thought it would be, is this. Mr. Firefly and I have been discussing getting something like this, which would get a lot of stuff off of the counter that we currently have like potatoes and onions and garlic and stuff on the counter. Neither one of us like it on the counter, but it was like, where else are we gonna put it? And anyways, so I got this. So I need to put this together. I think we're gonna keep it over here next to the pantry door. So anyways, I'm gonna get this food put together and see about putting this uh, market basket system thing together. Such a fun day. Okay. <laughs> We'll keep it <laughs> and stuff us off the counters, which makes me very happy. I would much rather have something like that over there than have stuff like all over the counter. So, okay, I'm gonna get in. My oldest is in doing some math and I'm gonna go in and help him a little bit. Also, my husband is home. He's uh, chatting with some family in Israel. So that's happening. And yeah, kids are just running around and baby Firefly is asleep. So anyways, this is our evening. So now that the sun is going down, I'll go ahead and close today out, but don't go anywhere because I'll be back in just a few moments with tomorrow. Hi friends and welcome back. Or I don't know, I guess you probably haven't gone anywhere. I've been somewhere. I went to sleep and woke up again because today is a new day. All right, so today is Tuesday and it's this is going to be the most beautiful day of the week. So I have planned a park afternoon for us and I am super stoked about that. My plan is to kind of spend the whole afternoon at the park. I want to get up there, go for a hike, have a picnic, enjoy some time with some friends. We have some new friends that we've just met who are going to meet us up at the park. So I'm really excited about that. So that's like the main highlight of our day. This morning, I am going to spend some time working with my oldest on some dog biscuits. He wants to make homemade dog biscuits for Bella. So we're very excited about that. And that's pretty much all that we have planned. Um, there's a little bit of schoolwork happening here and there, of course, because this is like our week, you know, off of school, except that we're still kind of doing school a little bit here and there. Um, just basically kind of getting ahead on next week so that we can have an easier week next week. And I like that idea. Okay, so that's what's happening here. <laughs> it's pretty early morning still. Two of my kids are asleep. Well, baby Firefly woke up at like four o'clock this morning. So I have been up and out of bed since 4.30 this morning when I realized he was not going back to sleep. That's okay. He did go back down for a nap, so he is napping now, and I think he's down for a long nap because it's been a little while already. Anyways, I think we're gonna get started on dog biscuits here in a few minutes. So let's go do the things.
All right, so the dog biscuit thing is almost done. There's a, one more batch there in the oven. He's having a blast though making them. It's really, really fun. Oh, and he's gonna bring a box of them to the park today to give to our friends. Okay, so I just finished putting together some lunches here for the kids. So here is what I packed for them. Okay, so they all have some crackers, a little granola bar, a couple of candies. There's some sunflower seeds in here, some wraps with some deli meat and mayonnaise, and some blueberries, blackberries, and dried apples. All right, so now that lunches are ready, I'm just gonna box all of those up. The kids are gonna finish putting on their shoes and we are gonna head out for a hike and a picnic and a play date with new friends. All right, so we just had a really, really lovely hike there. I am holding a squirmy baby firefly. <laughs> and yeah, I brought my backpack, so I was rucking. I had my ruck plate in there. So I got a nice little workout in. We just did a mile, so that was really nice. And now the kids are sitting here. We're eating our lunches, and our friend should be here soon. And then we'll head home for the evening. So I'll check back with you guys in when we get home tonight. And we are home. Oh my gosh, what a beautiful day. It was absolutely stunning out there by the lake. It was so much fun to see our friends and just hang outdoors and have a good time. So we enjoyed our hike after we got there and then we had a nice little picnic lunch with our food and then we were just playing with friends the rest of the time. So it was really, really, really nice. Can you tell I had a good time? <laughs> All right, so now it's about 5.30 and I'm about to start making some dinner. I'm keeping it really simple tonight. It was going to be taco night, but I decided instead to do quesadillas uh, just because those are the ingredients that I really need to use up right now. So we're gonna go with quesadillas and some Spanish rice. So that's gonna be dinner tonight. And that's really it. Nothing else exciting is gonna be happening after dinner. I think we're just gonna read some books and go to bed and do some laundry and boring things like that. So. All right, I think with that though, this video is getting pretty much long enough, so I'm gonna go ahead and call this one a close. Thank you all so much for being here. As always, I super duper appreciate you. Please leave me a comment down below and let me know how your week is going. I'd love to hear, let's get that conversation going. And please hit that subscribe button if you haven't done that already. I would really love to see you here again. And even if you have hit that subscribe button, make sure that you've hit that bell uh, so that you do get your notifications when I post a new video. And hey, sharing is caring. Feel free to share this video with a friend that you think might be interested in this kind of vlog. That would mean so much to me. Thank you very much in advance for that as well. Okay, and now that's it. I'm gonna go make dinner and get these kiddos to bed after we just enjoy a quiet evening here at home. So I hope that you all have a fabulous rest of your day and I will see you in my next upload. for a walk. No, well, it's, it's fine. It's fine. But no, not no. Okay. The lighting in here is terrible. I can shine some light. Thank you. I think this will do it. Yeah. We use the light from the dining room. That'll work. Okay.
here's a better view. Okay, so this wall right here by the window. Do you want me to stay okay, so we are home from Costco now and we got a lot of fun stuff. I'm super stoked. Okay. So. Yeah. 